What is up, family? This is your girl, Stephanie. <laughs> Excuse me, I just ate, so. <laughs> Stephanie, a.k.a. Edini has to stop up by. As you see, I already had some cards out here, but, you know, the things wanted to do their own thing. And um, for me, it's given... I don't feel like this message was any different from any other ones, but obviously it was something in it that, um, certain energies didn't want to come out. So I was like, well, fuck it. That's all right. Cool. We'll restart this. We'll get it over and we'll add some more to it. And I'll do another reading later on today <laughs> because obviously we got some haters you know what i'm saying in the spirit realm there go that two weeks a motherfucking again okay so again um my phone is over there but i think two weeks since the first time that card came out will be maybe like the the 12th or something All right, so spirit wants us to make sure that we keep our uh, aura hygiene clean. Okay, keep the aura hygiene clean. So that's giving, you know, doing the sage, getting our sage, doing our sage. Okay, um, our incense. Okay, so we're going to do that as well right now maybe that'll keep these uh energies from fucking with the technologies okay but definitely the smudge energy we're gonna get some more sound energy in this joint too okay So let's go. Um, I got a few more cards I need to pull out here. So let's. But I want to make sure that we keep the bottom of the deck card from the previous reading grounding. It's going to be very important at this time. Don't allow anyone to force you into anything if you feel like you need the day off to rest or whatever honor that if you feel tired or anything like that and you feel like you need to just be still honor that because we are in a deep period of healing right now mind body soul and spirit i'm adding spirit to that um it says you're going through many transformations let me read it My, your mind body soul and spirit are in a period of deep healing right now you're going through many transformations at once we are going through many transformations at once family okay so don't be so hard on yourself at this time the overarching uh, energy for this read is let go of known worlds and reach for the unfamiliar it's liberating and unsettling but it is meant to be okay it says you're going through many transformation at once and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need. Allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. So again, if you feel like you need to take some time off to rest or whatever, be sure to do that at this time, you know the bottom of the deck of the you know the head handwritten cards is i've searched all over and that's coming from the uh song i've searched all over 
couldn't find nobody. I searched high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. And for me, baby, that is giving you. You've been searching all over, um, looking for people outside of you to fulfill you. And the person that you've been waiting on all this time is you. Okay. So. Again. Don't be worried about any knuckleheads from the past trying to come back around because again that's what that overarching energy card is given let go of known worlds any past relationships let go of known worlds and reach for the unfamiliar unfamiliar right reach for the unfamiliar it's liberating Yes, it's unsettling, but it is meant to be, but it is meant to be, okay? So I'm going to get out, pull out a few more cards because it was just going to be a little short read, but since, you know, the haters wanted to uh, be a Debbie Downer on our party, because bottom of the deck, we have partying in reverse. Okay, they don't. These motherfuckers don't like that you don't mind just going out there having a good time, partying, just doing it. They want to put fear in your heart, make you want to be afraid and to be still. But no, it says let go of the unknown worlds, let go of known worlds, right, and reach for the familiar. Okay bottom of the deck of the last read also had advancement okay we're in this deep period of healing that is advancing us right now we're going through many transformations at once and they all are advancing us okay we also had spirit intervention that was underneath um searched all over so again your ancestors are constantly constantly reminding you that we are here covering you okay so the spirit intervention again could also be the motherfuckers that cut off my computer you know what i'm saying because i did have it plugged up there's no reason why it should have cut off on me but it's not, it's okay it's all to the g-double-o-d good because we're gonna keep going and we're gonna add a little bit more sauce onto it okay i put out a few tarot cards to clarify this let go of known worlds energy but also let me let you know that the initials d n and v came out here so you could be in the DMV area. It's kind of close. Could be thinking about moving to that area, perhaps. Um, or this could be telling you to move from that area. Maybe the DMV is a known world that you need to uh, step out of, that you need to let go of and reach for the unfamiliar. Really sit with your energy about that area. Um, also, I spoke about seeing, tapping into your feelings to see how, how you feel about it. You know, if it brings excitement, keep moving forward. Or are you filled with dread? Check in with yourself. Do you feel excitement? Are you filled with dread? You know, are you, um, do you feel lighter or do you feel heavier when you think about this situation or moving to this area or moving from the area really check in with how you feel about it you know to see if you need to move forward or not maybe there's another area that you need to check in I mean that you need to check in with yourself on and just see what your mind soul body spirit feels about it but um, get that out of the way. So the first card out that we were clarifying is to sit in or buy water. This has come out multiple times 
in uh, the last few reads and what it's given me I'm gonna go ahead and just read through these these the handwritten cards we have sit by water sit by or in water for me that's sitting in your emotions we have the shark heart chakra cleanse as well we have I outsmart everyone but you outsmarted me we have the abatali card which is the orisha of the white cloth he brings clarity he brings that peace you know he's for the underdogs abatali is the one that you know takes all or he are his and he really takes care of those that are born with the deformity um I don't know what I wrote right there. Responsible, maybe. I think that's what they're responsible for. He, he says that the those that the that are under the human condition, that are maybe impaired, injured, or elderly, all of those people are under his care. You know, so again, he he takes care of those who are forgotten. I would say, it says he's the owner of consciousness, as well. Okay, but anyway, so in regards to maybe a specific area that you were thinking about moving to maybe, um, or just moving away from, just really check in with how you feel, but uh, we were kind of focused on a person, but it could be a place or thing, but anyway, the three uh, tarot cards that came out to clarify, let go of known worlds and reach for the unfamiliar is the death card. So again, spirit is telling us to release and to let go um, because I do feel like there is a person around you that um, is tied to an ex. This this was the, this is the direction the previous reading was going, tied to an ex. And the reason I say that is because I stopped at a box lie, but we still have another card here that was from the previous read is psychic witchcraft. The person that they are attached to hate the way they love you. So they have an ex that knows about you is what is given. And uh, another card came out with that and that's waiting in vain. And I feel like you possibly have waited for this person hoping that they will see the light. And spirit is letting you know right now that no they are not. They are stuck to this person. To that ex, to an ex-wife, whomever, baby mama. You know, they are tied to that person. They are stuck to that person. And they are they may come in trying to act like, oh, I'm good. I've changed. I've let that person go. Um, but it's a lie. It's a lie. And Spirit wants to, rem wants to remind you of all the pain and hurt that you've been through trying to wait from the, for them. Do the heart chakra cleanse. Okay, I know this is seem like a repeated theme but there's obviously a lot of people who are still dealing with this a lot of people who still have not let go still have not released you know and at the end of the day you may feel like you've released but it really you really haven't you know what I'm saying you may think you have but when that opportunity comes back up you may start getting you know like a little schoolgirl around the situation and, and having hope but spirit wants to remind you no ma'am no girl keep your heart chakra uh, cleanse keep your aura hygiene cleansed okay underneath this aura hygiene card we have shakti pot and it says this is the transmission of grace enlightening gift of mastery okay it empowers to instinctively seek conducive environments and being with this person is not a conducive environment because remember I pulled some uh, tarot cards bottom of the deck was the lovers this is straight up third party energy 
third party energy there's another entity um, that this person is going to have you continuously in competition with competing with you know in drama and just like the healing card says, you're going through a time of healing right now, a deep healing. Many transformations are happening at once. You need to be in this hermit card energy of, you know, look at that. And underneath the hermit card, baby, guess what we have? We have the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is about being happily single. Literally about being happily single. And it's funny that this partying card at the bottom of the deck that we were saying, oh, they want to stop you from partying. That's probably another reason why they want to come in because they see that you're really releasing them. So they want to see how how tied you are to them on this partying card in reverse. It says happily single on here. It says time with friends, having fun, living in the moment. There's someone outside of you that wants to wants to stop you from doing that. And they don't want you to be happily single. They want you crying over them and wondering, you know, what they're doing and all of that. Underneath this Shaktipak card, as I look, it says creator, empress or emperor. Do not allow this person to come in and block your creativity. You got to stay focused. And the focus card is out here. We'll get to that soon. But you need to seek conducive environments and being around uh, a past world, a past person, a past relationship is not a conducive environment because they have not changed. Okay, they're still in a lot of conflict. We'll get to that though as we go through the clarifications. You know what I'm saying? Uh, conducive environments, rather, rather than damaging ourselves, trying to adapt to external situations or societal values. Okay. Again, searched all over. You've been looking for you. You need to understand that you've been looking for you. No one else outside of you can do for you the way you can do for you. I wish I can um, include in this reel that I saw the other day. It was the 80-year-old woman and she was dancing and she was just giving a word. If I can find it, I'm going to post that uh real but it's called shorts on youtube i'm gonna post it here in the community tab you know what i'm saying but we need to seek environments that are conducive to us rather than damage our damaging ourselves trying to adapt to the external situations around us or societal values don't damage yourself trying to adapt to societal values so again you know really master your emotions here because we got the water sit by water we have the heart chakra which can rep water represents emotions so that could be you know heart chakra energy and like i said earlier i just happened to have on a blue shirt today it's given a uh, um water energy and it's funny i have my aquamarine crystal here because i did a reading yesterday but the sound wasn't good because i was at the park and then plug up my mic so i wasn't able to upload it but it did um mention the aquamarine crystal but this is more about your throat chakra so again if this person does reach out to you then you know if you've done the work to sit with your emotions you will have the words to say to this person and you do need to speak up you do need to speak up. So sit with your emotions. Just like I said, if it makes you feel uh, heavy or with, uh, filled with dread, you know that you may need to release it. If you feel excited um, and lighter, then it may be something that you need to move forward with. And obviously, anything in the past, let go of known worlds. Anything in the past is not it. It's not it. But... You do what you want to do because you're going to do that anyway. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do anyway. But the manifest card says you're always manifesting whether you're aware of it or not. So focusing on this person and all the negativity is just going to bring you more negativity. Focusing on this person, someone that is not going to do the work, you know, um, because they can't see what's right in front of them. Remember, we have these three cards, three tarot cards. The death card is the first card again let go of the known worlds release it spirit says it's time for you to release this person um for real for real the two of uh swords in reverse 
This person cannot see what's right in front of you. They don't see the value that's right in front of them. That's why they continue to allow themselves to be yo-yoed with whomever it is that they're dealing with. Because remember, we have the lover's card. They are de there's definitely third-party energy going on. So don't let this person fool you because they definitely will try to come fool you with their charm, with their confidence, with their swag that came up in a, in a past reading as well. It says manifestation is based on your thoughts and you're being asked to manifest consciously. That's why spirit is saying and telling you right now, sit with your emotions. OK, you don't want to come in and forget about all of the pain that this person put you through. Um, manifest consciously through positive thinking so you'll attract into your life exactly what you're wanting and then we have here phoenix in reverse this person is not a phoenix in reverse they are not you know it's this new phase and rekindle in reverse spirit says no rekindling okay this person is not trying to enter into a new phase we have renew and growth spirit says no it's in reverse we're not renewing. We're not growing. We have changed mind here. This person has not changed their mind. They're still in a three third party mentality. But you need to change your mind about waiting in vain for this person that is choosing to be stuck with, you know, that person. The other person is this rise from the ashes. This person is not. But you need to. Heart chakra cleanse is clarified by sore and the dragonfly card in reverse once you can cleanse this person out of your heart chakra you will then begin to um, lighten your burden even the more so that you can soar even higher okay so just this could be could be multiple people why this reading keeps coming out could be someone else that you need to release um if not, there's still deep, deep, deep down some more shit that needs to be healed. Because just like we said, last reading, we had the healing card. You're going through a deep period of healing right now. There you're going through many transformations at once. And this is all to help advance you. And know that, yes, releasing known worlds is unsettling. But it's meant to be. The, um, there's career growth that can be expected in your field of work opportunities coming your way so don't waste your time with these people that are constantly in this conflict energy and trying to put you in conflict because they want to put you in this third party ass bullshit don't waste your time focus on improving your finances and that is exactly what the nine of pentacles is all about that we have right here pentacles okay this is her she invested um planted the seeds been doing the work to till it and this could be you on your spiritual path and now it's time for you to reap the benefits and now the you know low vibrational spirit spirit forces are trying to come in to distract you do not let it happen okay be cool calm and collected you're going through a deep healing right now so allow yourself the space to do that again if you just need to want to take the day and do nothing do that have wherever however you are led make sure you do that but release this person with the heart with this heart chakra cleanse you're being asked to stop dimming your own light and, and waiting for this person to come in for you to turn it on spirit says stop dimming your light and focus on improving your finances right now period it's time for you to come out of the shadows and let your authentic self soar fly high dear one and then we have the dragonfly card in reverse Right, this person I feel again are negatively being led in the low vibrational spirits of the cosmos because we there's both. You have the good and you have the bad. Are you gonna feed the demon or are you gonna feel the feed the angel on your shoulder? And I feel like this person is still feeding the demon on their shoulder. Okay, they're not in this light hearted energy to which they can adapt or whatever. Um it says finding out and change i feel like with this heart chakra cleanse there's going to be some things that you're going to find out either about this person um or whatever but this is, i feel like it's going to help you to really change i feel like spirit is going to uh bring you some information some inside information as well to help you to truly uh release this person out of your life it says things coming to light for you to heal and again we are in this healing energy all right clarifying the owl 
the I outsmart everyone but you outsmarted me card is the focus and the conflict card conflict is in reverse again this person is in a lot of conflict remember we had the five of wands in reverse which is the energy of conf conflict competition drama fighting frustration all of the things but I outsmart everyone but you outsmarted me why did you outsmart them because you have done the work to elevate but you also have your ancestors and spirit guides leading you with the spirit intervention card here as well your spirit team has grown so strong that now your spirit team is so strong now nothing that they do can work nothing that they do nothing that they're doing is working your spirit team is so strong now that nothing that they do is working okay you outsmarted them so we have the focus card continue to focus on that it says you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working shift away your focus away from what isn't working and toward what is paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step towards creating an amazing life and that's what we're focusing on creating amazing life we're focusing on improving our finances right we're focusing on this advancement and this advancement does not include you bringing in things from the past remember the overall can energy let go of known worlds right and reach for the unfamiliar it's liberating and unsettling but it is meant to be it is meant to be that you release this person and remember they are here with they, they're around you with a lot of conflict okay conflict and bullshit it says be careful with whom you deal with anything related to your finances or any area in your life in every area of your life be careful with whom you deal with there could be some misunderstanding with someone about money in reverse here okay be careful with who definitely who you uh, deal with when it comes to money but in any area of your life okay so now we're going to pick up where the past reading left off um and so clarifying this obatala card the arisha of the white cloth of you know the underdog the arisha of the underdog we have celebrate in sunglasses okay spirit says put your sunglasses on you know these people may be trying to throw shade your way but you should put your sunglasses on and flex on these motherfuckers continue to go out party and have fun have a good time because baby a change gonna come and not only is the change is here not only that okay underneath the change card is a line okay you are changing and you are you are aligning with your divine purpose you are aligning with your divine soul mission and soul path okay we're not in we're not finna we're not we're not playing not playing these games your discernment the sunglasses card is giving me that your discernment is on fleek okay and you doing what you need to do to watch your surroundings Okay, but you're also doing the work to watch your spiritual and ethereal surroundings as well with the um, aura hygiene, doing your smudging, your sound therapy, all of the things, sitting in water, doing the um, shower spiritual, um, I would say spiritual bath, but just not a bath because you're not sitting in it, but you know, doing your spiritual showers, okay? And all of the things that's that's when you get in the shower you know imagine as the water is flowing down your body that it is cleansing your aura and all of the things you can get your little spray bottle mixed with a little sea salt um, maybe even a little vinegar if you have Florida water you can put that in there and then you after you get out the shower spray yourself with that okay and go on about your day we also have celebrate here so again like i said continue to put your put your glasses on because we have the sunglasses here and um celebrate have fun so you're being asked to celebrate a recent accomplishment no matter how big or small do something special to commemorate the moment you deserve that and so much more so i feel like I feel like this person is going to come back in trying to grab your attention and all that and you're going to flex on that ass. You're going to be like, oh, that's cute. Mm. I'm good though. 
The spirit wants you to go out and celebrate that because in the past, you wouldn't have been able to say no to this person. You wouldn't have. Clarifying the psychic witchcraft, the person they're attached to hate you and then waiting in vain. Because this person will be waiting in vain if they're waiting for you to come back around because you're going to listen to your uh, spirit guides and ancestors. You're going to let go of known worlds. Like, I've been there. I don't, I'm not going to return back to something I already had. I'm not going back to something I already had. Especially when what I had didn't do right by me. I'm not going back to that. I'm good. I had my fun. Bye. Okay. Mm. Clarifying the psychic witchcraft. This bitch they got around you hate on you. You know, or do could be a do, whatever. We gotta pay attention. Okay, we gotta pay attention. And then we have seduction in reverse. Okay. This person is seducing the fuck out of your person. And you still need to pay attention to them because you know their person is stuck on you stuck on you so you know make sure you keep your aura hygiene aura a-u-r-a -A, your aura hygiene intact okay transmission of grace it's the enlightening gift of mastery with the shakti pop s-h-a-k-t-i-p-a-t s-h-a-k-t-i shakti pot pet shakti pet p-a-t all right transmission of grace enlightening gift of mastery you are mastering your emotions you're mastering self it says this empower shakti pet empowers you to seek uh, to instinctively seek conducive environments rather than damaging damaging yourself trying to adapt to external situations or societal values that's why your person is stuck because they are Instead of seeking conducive envir environments, they rather stay in environments where they damage themselves, trying to adapt or to look good for society. You know, but the pay attention card says you're being asked to pay, pay close attention to the signs you're being given, both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life again this is clarifying the psychic witchcraft their person the person they're attached to hate you hate the way they love you and on the card it says distance yourself don't make their karma your karma okay so spirit says pay attention to this warning do not be close to this person do not be calling them don't you know none of that don't entertain their phone calls you may won't even want to block them you know what i'm talking about and then we have the seduction card in reverse because this person is definitely going to try to come and seduce you. You know, uh, attraction, teasing. They're going to try to attract you, tease you. They're going to want to hook up, want to go on a date. But look at what's on here. It says motherfucking third party. Didn't I tell you? This, this, the person they're attached to hate the way they love you. That's given third party already. Third party and then temptation. Spirit says stay away. Don't even answer the call. Don't even answer the phone call. Clarifying the two weeks card that has been coming up repeatedly in about three to four different reads. Uh, we have assistance and reassess. Okay. Ignore this person for at the, at the very least two weeks. Either since this, since hearing this read or in calculation of since the first time if you've been following the read since the first time this uh two weeks card has come up and again i think the two weeks will be up um somewhere around the 12th or 14th of this month but in around that time as given that assistance is going to come in assist assistance that's going to help you to reassess the situation um it says there are some resources you have overlooked that would help you resolve your financial issues someone is willing to help you recover okay so up until this two weeks it's over you know do not go back to anything old but once this two weeks is up I feel like you can now kind of if there is someone in the past because it says there's some resources that you have overlooked 
this maybe maybe this resource that you've overlooked may not come up from someone in the past maybe it's a new person that you meet but you're like oh I already have access to that oh, I've already you know oh I know about that I just hadn't really you know tapped into it then tap into it because this is going to allow you to reassess um, the matter it says you've been you're being asked to take stock of your life and let go of anything or anyone that no longer makes you happy. Okay. Perhaps there's going to be even more information that comes in that helps you to release this person. Okay. Take stock of your life and let go of anything or anyone that no longer makes you happy. Notice who and what brings you joy and who and what don't. It's time for some life cleanup. Here we go again with the life cleanup. Okay. So I think once this two weeks is up, you're going to really have a, you know, a good clean slate for the time being. You know, life happens. So things get muddled up again eventually. But again, once we've been through it and each time we go through it our skills are more and more refined so there's no reason to stress out you know when you hear someone say oh you may experience this again you got a lot a lot more life to live you know what i'm saying so it, you know the situation may come back up again in a different avatar but if you pay attention you know you can notice the seduction you can notice the temptations and that you know the the signs you would know the signs like with the pay attention card here it says play pay special close attention to the signs that you're being given the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed the the subtle signs of seduction that this person tried to come or the big grand gestures that they may try to bring you pay attention because it's all bullshit okay it's all bullshit these signs will help you see how best to move forward in order to live your best life causing unnecessary issues okay this person is determined i'm just going to say that this person is determined so you might block them or whatever but again they may still come in with a big gesture is what is given you know, and you need to understand that you searched all over, couldn't find nobody in the past. We're moving forward on to new. Let go of known worlds and reach for the unfamiliar. It's liberating and unsettling, but it is meant to be. So maybe that even talks about your usual type that you may go for. Try something different. Try something different. So causing unnecessary issues. Baby, we got the camera and the pivot card. Okay. So this person may try to come in talking about all the memories and all the good times you had. That's why the first card out was to sit by or sit in water. Sit by or sit in your emotions. We're going to change water to emotions. And then the heart chakra cleanse. Double heart heart energy. Double water emotion energy. We need to cleanse that shit. Spirit wants you to really sit and remember that because when they come in with the seduction and all of that temptation, you may forget. But if you do the work and you really sit with it and you understand, you know, the situation, take that those rose colored glasses off. This is given rose colored glasses as well with the Obatala card. And then remember, we have celebrate here. OK, when you sit and really take off those rose colored glasses, you'll be able to prepare yourself for this person when they try to come back in with the grand gestures and, and such. But again, with the camera card, like I said, reminiscing and someone may be trying to come in with the emotions. You may even some of the uh, you come across a picture or something that be like, oh, I remember that wrong card pivot pivot real quick oh pivot oh I remember what pivot <laughs> pivot real quick like making memories and this we have learned from the past List exactly listen 
causing unnecessary drama. Don't be start reminiscing. Learn from the motherfucking past and perception on the bottom of the card. And sit with those emotions. Remember, remember, learn from the past and motherfucking pivot, okay? Sometimes when things aren't falling into place after trying and trying, after trying and trying, sometimes when things aren't falling into place after trying and trying, okay? Okay? It's time to ask yourself if pivoting in some way would be a good idea so that your life can flow more easily and effortlessly. How could you pivot even just a little bit? Okay. Pivot. Pivot. Okay. Because baby, look, you are whole. You are healed. And you are in this energy of oneness. You can go at it alone. And it's only going to be for a time being. It may be... If you're whole and healed, you don't mind if you're in that energy for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? On your own. Now, and the only way you're going to allow anybody into your space is if they come equally yoked, which is equally whole and healed within themselves. And then those two energies can really come together and collaborate in any in, in an effective way. I N A N effective way in an effective way, right? So clarifying this whole healed energy, we have taken taking chances and jump in. Remember, this is the overarching energy. Let go of known worlds and reach for the unfamiliar. That requires you to take a chance. And to just jump in, okay? It says it's time for a leap of faith in this situation. Be more courageous in dealing with your finances or your romantic. Whatever area of the life of your life that this may apply to, okay? Be more courageous in dealing with your finances. It may be uncertain, right? You said unsettling, but it is meant to be. That's what the first card says. But it says... It may be uncertain, but may lead to great results. In this card, you can take a chance because you are whole and healed. Take a chance, and then we have change here. And we're not talking about taking a chance on this old situation. You've gotten too many signs that says no. So you better not be trying to take a chance on that. You better not be. And the jump in card says you've been... You're being asked to take a chance. Look at that. To take a chance. And we have taken chances on this one. And then bottom of the deck here, we have change. So we have, you know, change on this one and taking a chance on that one. And then we have a line underneath. The Spirit is saying, when you take this chance, when you take this leap of faith, when you jump in, it's going to align you. It's going to be aligning. It may, you know, seem scary at first. But it's going to yield some great results. Says so you're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you're questioning a try. The stars will never align in just the right way. Sometimes you have to take that leap anyway. This is that time. You're whole and healed. And it is time for the new. It is time for. And I feel like this is about new love. Again, it says. Let go of a known worlds and reach for the unfamiliar. Like I said, you know, trying a different person. Maybe if you were always into musicians or anything like that, try a different type. You know, try a different type of person. Okay, bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Pentacles. You could be an Earth sign. You know, be grounded. Know that you're grounded within yourself. This Queen of Pentacles does give that whole healed energy. If you've been following me long enough, you know for me, the Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles are energies that can transform um, into the Emperor or the Empress on, a, on any given day. But we have the Ace of Swords here in the upright. I mean, in the reverse. And then we have the Knight of Wands. And then the Four of Swords. Okay. Jump in. Take a chance. You're whole 
you're healed okay pause all right family so i want to know if this jump in taking a chance card has anything to do with um you know taking a chance on new love or this is about you just kind of staying in your own energy right now not really trying to date but just enjoying your own space and i really feel like that's what it is if you're going through a deep period of healing at this time which was the um retreat which is the was one of the first cards that came out um and then we have keeping up a mind in reverse um bottom of the deck and so i feel like spirit is saying you know just keep an open mind um about the beauty that can come into your life with, with it within just the partnership with spirit right now you know because you're going through this deep healing you're going through a deep transformation energy of transformation right now one of the previous reads six months came out you know so maybe within the next two weeks six months don't try to um, entertain anyone I feel like there's going to be a deep deep temptation to um, have sex with the knight of wands here but the next card out is the four of swords if you have sex with anyone right now I feel like you're going to regret it Spirit says retreat, you know, know that you're whole and healed. So, I don't know, jump into this sacred loneliness. <laughs> oh, some sister wives ass shit. Don't take no chances. I feel like you're going to want to jump in on some things on maybe a relationship with a, someone new I don't know see this is the part that's getting confusing because a lot of us possibly already been in this single energy already so to let go of known worlds and reach for the unfamiliar could be look we have narcissists in, re in reverse and, you know so maybe this could and then we have spying. This person is spying on you. Maybe this is talking about don't jump in with this this person. You know, you may feel like you want to jump in. You may feel like you want to take a chance on this person again. But do not risk your whole, your healness, your oneness. Don't risk that. Not even for sex. Maybe that's what you wanted. Maybe that's what it's talking about. Okay, you may be like, oh, well, I don't love you, this and the third, but maybe I can just have you as a little sneaky link on the side. Don't do it. Then I tell you, you need to block them because they got a crazy ex on their tail. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's giving just a, a sexual situation. Mm -mm. Or that's why you have this aura hygiene here because if you get to uh, being with this person sexually, it's not a conducive environment for you, honey. It's not a conducive environment. Don't do it. Because this person really do, does have the power of seduction. And that's the reason why you need to just separate from them completely. Okay. Definitely for, you know, two weeks. <laughs> for two weeks, completely block them. Um... And then I feel like you're going to get even more power, more assistance coming in that's going to help you. To continue to, to stay away from this person, but I feel like they're going to try. They're going to be. They're going to look. It says release your ex. What? It says release your ex and then we have forgiving and learning in reverse this person has not learned they are not someone that you need to forgive 
take those rose colored glasses off family and follow your intuition okay it says on the narcissist card it says someone is too full of themselves the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later do not jump in with this person we have guardian and reverse okay so they may have an incubus succubus energy or whatever on you um, on you when you sleep to make you think about this person and want them and and you gonna be seduced by this person do not do it two weeks to up to six months do not do it keep your aura hygiene clean um, you do have spirit intervention here, but you also have to do go, do the work on your end. Faith without works is dead. Okay, so focus. You need to focus on your money. This person is coming around you with a lot of conflict, a lot of third party energy. They are very. They they have their um. They have strength in the spirit realm as well. Not as strong as yours. The only way they can. Uh, affect you is if you allow them the only thing the devil can do is give you a choice and make it make that choice seem like it is really 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 the one but you need to understand and be grounded with this queen of um pinnacles be grounded in what you know okay know that you are letting go of known worlds and we're reaching for the unfamiliar it's liberating and it's unsettling but it's meant to be it's unsettling to keep denying this person because you're probably one that don't want to hurt someone's feelings but it must be done okay let's get some messages here yo this reading went in a direction that I was not thinking it was going to but you have undergone a deep healing y'all there's a deep healing but it's going to like I said every time that you are becoming aligned with your divine life path your divine soul mission there is temptation there's a test immediately damn near it seems like be prepared to be tested immediately is one of the readings I said uh, I did recently once you make that decision once you change your mind, if you can look at, if you see that, you got the mind and it has like little uh, arrows in it where it's turning. Once you change your mind and start taking a chance on you, betting on you, jumping in, ten toes down on you. That's when, in, in this whole and healed energy, that's when you get motherfuckers coming in saying, no, you're not holding healed. Let me show you. Type that shit. It says, do I still have a chance? Baby, they came out in reverse. They're going to they gonna lay it on thick. Do I still have a chance? I mean, I really love you. I want to make amends in reverse. It's a lie. It's a lie. They do not want to make amends. Look, self-care came out in the upright. Spirit wants you to make sure that you're focusing on your self-care. Again, you're going through a deep healing. You're going through a beautiful advancement right now. Do not allow these heartbroken, lying, thieving, drama-filled people back into your life. Do not do it. It says, I feel so happy with you. That's what they're going to come with. They're going to come with all of that shit. I feel so happy with you. Look at that. In reverse. Strictly sexual. This is what they want from you. Remember, that's why we had that little sex card there. Because that's all they're going to want from you. Because they are tied to that ex. They're tied to the baby mama. They're tied to the the ex-wife whatever whoever the fuck they're still tied they always will be do not put yourself in that situation it says i still have feelings for you in the upright and yeah you may still have feelings for that person look it's a soulmate you may have felt that this person was a soulmate that's the reason why they have such a hold a hold over you it says i am recovering in reverse it's a lie they are not 
They are not. They just want something strictly sexual with you. So do not fall for it. It says, I have trouble with intimacy. That's going to be one of the sob stories that they have. I have trouble with intimacy. I really love you. You never, I hadn't been touched. I hadn't felt the way that I felt for you in so long. It's lies. It's lies. It's lies. It's lies. Okay. I miss being around you. Some other shit that they're going to try to say. Don't, don't believe it. It says your intellect arouses me. All right. So. Again, remember the card says, I outsmart everyone, but you outsmarted me. So they're aroused by their intellect. You may feel like they even have intellect as well. But it's a face. It's a false. Farce. It's a farce. It's false. You know, I want you so badly. That came out in the in, in the area of that night of wands energy. I want you so badly. Remember, we had the seduction, the temptation, the attraction, the teasing, the hooking up third party uh, shit right there. Don't do it. Don't do it. The self -car care card says clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay, it says your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. This person is not a soulmate because they do not love you. They do not accept you and they do not respect you unconditionally. If they're keeping you uh, back and forth in this third party. With a strictly sexual card in reverse. It says this connection is passionate but not enduring. So don't allow this person to make you feel like it is enduring because it's a lie. It's a motherfucking lie. I want you back. They do not. They do, but sexually. They only want you back to be a, a, a side chick or a mistress. I don't know why this is happening. Yes, the fuck you do. Yes, the fuck you do. I want to make, and that's coming out over, I want to make amends. No, you don't. I don't know why this is happening. I want to make amends. I wish we could go back. I bet you did. Because before, this is coming out over self-care. Before, you didn't have the self-care that you had before. You weren't as conscious as you are now. You know? You didn't have this type of self-care in connection with Source back then. That's the reason why they could you know, take advantage of you back in the day. But remember the camera card says, learn from the past. Perception, you have a new perception because you've you've grown and you are going through a deep healing transformation right now, okay? So of course they wanna go back to the time when they could manipulate you. I can be myself with you. I feel so happy with you. This was clarifying. I, um, I feel so happy with you as clarified by I can be myself with you. Again, they're going to go through this whole side story of how they can be themselves. It's a lie. This person is a narcissist. They would tell you anything, anything to make you drop your uh, guard down. We have patience here. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And that is coming out over strict, strictly sexual. Spirit says be patient. Just be patient and hold back. And you will see how this person will fall the fuck off. It says, um, clarifying that I still have feelings for you in the upright. This is you. You still have some, some feelings for them. But you've learned your lesson. It says, I compare others to you. And that's, um, that's your discernment. You know you know who to walk away from. Just because the person doesn't has a different avatar on doesn't mean they don't have the same characteristics. And I feel like you've grown through that to that we have true love in reverse and this person baby i'm telling you you think this person is a soulmate that they love you but they don't but in reverse they're talking about true love they're gonna act like that that they you are the true love it says this love is is emotional physical and unconditional but it's not it's not it's a lie it's a lie it's a lie okay and don't think any other way about it We have fate here coming out, clarifying the I am recovering card. Um, and they're not recovering. And it says this is a destined part in a partnership. It's not if they're not recovering. Okay. This is how you may have felt about this person. This is coming out over the, the psychic witchcraft card. And so this the destined partnership is the one that they have with that ex. That's their destined partnership, not with you. 
not with you not like this not like this don't you lose all this work that you've been putting in on yourself and your spirit like this not like this it says i have trouble with in intimacy and we have passion you ain't got time for that you're full of passion you're full of love you ain't got time to be trying to deal with uh, someone that doesn't have that bandwidth it says try something you've never done before but don't do that with this person don't do that with that person you have a lot of passion you need to channel that into your finances channel channel that into this beautiful healing energy that you are in right now okay clarifying i miss being with you we have i trusted you trusted ed past this is you know your energy I miss being with you. When this person say, I miss being with you, you tell them, I trusted you. I don't trust you anymore. I don't trust you with my heart. I don't trust you with my heart. Love doesn't mean access and forgiveness does not mean trust. I think that's how that saying goes. Yes. So, yes, you can still love this person. Like it says, we have, we have the, I still have feelings for you in the upright. You still you know have love this person have love for this person and you forgive them but love doesn't mean access and trust and forgiveness doesn't mean trust even though i forgive you doesn't mean that i trust you your intellect arouses me arouses me and then look at here in the upright you didn't see my tears this person hurt you like i said you thought this was faded you thought this was true love you thought this person was your soulmate and they were all it was all lies. They were very smart with your intellect arousing me, arouses me. They were very smart and cunning. This is coming out in the narcissist area. They were very cunning. But that's what a narcissist does. They, they can definitely put that mask up. For real, for real. And then clarifying, I want you so badly. Period. I can't do this. I can't do this bottom of the deck I want to start over and this is what they're going to be coming to you saying don't give in don't do it not I said the cat if you're a woman that's what your cat is saying she said not I <laughs> not I keep your aura hygiene clean keep your heart chakra clean sit with your emotions and remember all of the pain that this person brought to you in the past do not go back do not jump in willy-nilly and take a chance on this person know that you are whole and healed within yourself okay continue to go out and have a good time and party have fun Okay, this person wants you to shut that part of you off because they know, they know the glow up. They feel it. They don't know it, but they feel it because they're they're sp they're spiritually inclined too. Don't get it twisted. You're not the only one spiritually inclined in this connection, or else you wouldn't have even been attracted to them in the first place. But they are deceitful with theirs you know they're just they, they they are low vibrational with their spiritual connection you know what i'm talking about you feel me so don't fall for it mm -mm. remember ace of swords in reverse that's lies that's no victory no victory do not allow them to have victory in trying to seduce you with that that meat stick follow your 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 guidance from your ancestors and your spirit guides take that inspired action and four of swords go meditate <laughs> go motherfucker like meditate cleanse your aura take your spiritual shower or spiritual bath if you want to take a spiritual bath go sit by water go back to the park Go to the park as many times as you need to to ground this energy and trans and allow Mother Earth to transmute it because baby, what you're gonna be doing is waiting in vain because you will constantly and consistently be tied up into a third party situation. And again, this person name could begin with the 
or have these letters in it D N or V it doesn't have to be you know don't think that just because that your person's name doesn't have those letters in it that, that it doesn't apply to them not so okay hell that that letter could be in their middle name somewhere at the end the beginning in the middle or whatever don't do it that's all i got to say all right so i hope they helped in some way shape form or fashion i love you all and until next time peace